Danny McCaskill is on a journey to create the biggest and most ambitious project of his career, a unique new film that will see him progress his riding to an even higher level. I've got such a free range that I can build the setups, you know, that allow me to do the tricks that have just been in my dreams up until now. So. However, a career-threatening injury resulted in major back surgery, and just six weeks after the operation, he's committed to shooting a dangerous new TV project. I'm 100% like happy about doing it. I'm just, the uh, only thing I'm worried about is my back. Just after my operation, I was asked to do this documentary, you know, for Channel 4, Life on the Edge, looking into kind of athletes' mindsets and how they deal with fear, and if they've got anything different going on, you know, in their brain compared with people that don't do extreme sports. On this project, I actually wasn't going to be riding a bike, you know, which was obviously a, a big plus because I was in a, a back brace at the time. Meet one of my heroes today. It's pretty amazing, uh, Guy Martin. Um, yeah, so there's nothing more really needs to be said than that. Some of my favourite videos to watch on YouTube are some of his like POV or on bike camera footage from the, the Isle of Man TT. Got to be one of the craziest races in the world. Tell me what you know about Danny. Man's a legend, isn't he? Man's a legend. How do you think what what, what like Danny does compares to what you do? Danny does with day and night, day and night. Like my job, it just looks a lot more spectacular than actually what it is. When you sat doing it, it's not that much really. It's all calculated, it's a calculated thing that we're doing. But it's um, it's not rocket science, but what Danny is doing is rocket science. For me, because it's it's inch precision. Not even inch, it's for the, you know when he's doing that? The tram, the tram line thing, riding down the train track, like whip it 360 in and then back up, you what, you what? Hello, right, how's it going? All right, mate, to you. Yeah, good. This is going to be really cool today. I can't wait. If it had been something else for TV, then I might have been more inclined to kind of turn it down. But the fact that I was going to get to meet some of my heroes uh, and kind of maybe sort of have a little taste of some of the sports I've always wanted to do, it was awesome. The documentary scene Danny is shooting today looks at the effect adrenaline has on Guy during high-speed motorcycle racing. So what's the top speed of the bike? Uh, top speed would probably get about 190 out of this. Oh, really? Yeah. Despite his recent surgery, Danny is determined to seize the opportunity to experience the thrill of the ride for himself. I'm 100% like, happy about doing it. I'm just, the uh, only thing I'm worried about is my back. That's, only, that's my only concern in the world. If everything feels right, um, and I'm getting plenty of feeling from the bike, and Danny's comfortable, um, there's no reason why we can't crack on a bit. Definitely a once in a lifetime experience, I think. You all right, Danny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About. I don't know, he's not hanging about. It was funny because he said, oh, we'll just take it easy in the first lap. I think the first lap, but the, you know, it didn't feel like we're taking it that easy, but I don't know. I just uh, kind of felt comfortable, but at the same time, kind of just so intense and wild. But just like, it was, it was more just like being on a, a really amazing roller coaster that could crash. Guy comes to do a job. He just gets on with it, and especially, with, you know, he got Danny McCaskill on back here. God knows how famous he is. He's injured as well, and the risks of what could happen today are all there. You know, fair play to them both. Fair play to Danny for going out and back him as well, because I won't. <laughs> that was awesome, thanks. <laughs> hey, no, no <laughs> The thing is, like, we must have been doing, what, 140 or down the back, but well, the thing was still wheeling, <laughs> just because of the wind, you know, and, the, and, the, and it was wheeling and the wind was taking it and it was, do, it was doing that, because of the wind. What an awesome experience, like, it was uh, so intense, like, so much power. The back's held up, which has been good, I mean, 
I don't think there was anything stopping me from getting on the back of that bike. So it was just amazing. I need to get myself one of these beasts. Give up this trials more like it is for wimps. I met Danny McCaskill. <laughs> been on the back of my bike. That's all right. <laughs> Shut up. With the documentary in the can, Danny's recovery now takes priority. High performance manager Darren Roberts welcomes Danny back with open arms. It's his job to assess Danny's physical state and begin a program of rehabilitation. Danny's situation at the moment is uh, he's had his operation, which was a success. Danny's injury was, uh, was complicated, it was difficult to diagnose, it required some you know, world-class specialists to get involved to try and get to the bottom of what was wrong and what needed to happen. On top of that, you know, you've got Danny. Let's do a cog sport test today, which is a baseline measure of their cognitive function. Oh, I'm ready to go. Yeah. I just can't wait. So just follow the instructions. What? Right. Sorry. So what? So what? I don't, I don't quite understand this. So what? You? If the, if, no. So press yes when the card turns face up. So that's it. Yeah. Okay. And what's what's what's? It's got definitely got the dry sense of humour of any human being I know. Good fun. You know when you're hanging out with them, you never. There's never a dull moment. That's for sure. Is the card red? Yes or no? Is it? And they just do K or D, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> How come that was wrong? It's really difficult to get him to commit to something like a treatment plan because it's not what athletes want to do. Uh, we just come to the Sail Sharks Rugby Club um, to come and get tuned up in the physio. The specific physiotherapy treatment that Danny's been getting is soft tissue work to keep all his connective tissues healthy, mobile. Danny has got a lot of what we would call, you know, inbuilt uh, compensations where from just from riding the bike. And the physiotherapy process kind of straightens them out, puts them all back into line, makes sure each muscle is doing the job that it's supposed to, gives him a bit of an MOT, a bit of a once over, as well as reinforcing to Danny you still need to do the prehabilitation and all the boring stuff. Almost able to touch my toes with straight legs. But it totally brings on my back pain when I do it with my left leg. And you find that it gets worse when you ride a lot? Yeah, if I my back gets tired. Try and hold it there. You need to pull back towards you. It's been such a, an amazing thing having, you know, the performance programme to back me and it's a nice feeling that somebody's really sort of got my back uh, when it comes to uh, kind of managing my recovery. Danny's not the only athlete entering rehabilitation. Both he and enduro rider Johnny Walker are set for an extensive gym workout. Oh, I can't wait. As long as I don't have to go on a bloody rowing machine. I hate those flipping things. Out of all the gym equipment, the roar is definitely the worst. It's uh, some kind of, looks like an atom cluster of some sort. It's just a random agility warm up, so, you know, bouncing a knobbly ball around, it's a good laugh as well, and it warms up depth perception and peripheral vision and a whole bunch of other things rather than just doing it statically. Good. <laughs> can you see anything at the minute? Not really. No, I can just yeah. see. So they're, they're, they're not sunglasses. You, you can't actually very see through them. Right, so come here. They're a bit tight, like an old beak. Oh, here we go. Let's just slow that down. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Just, let me just slow it down a little bit. That is actually horrible. You like your eyes are like that. <laughs> <laughs> so the slower the slower the flashing, you know, the, the longer you can't see what's going on, so the more your brain has to anticipate what's happening. I can do this. I'm hoping, you know, like it will get fully better. Right now it's it's hard to see sort of past. You know, I only look like the next two weeks ahead of myself, you know. It kind of feels like I'm going to last forever, but hopefully not.
as obvious as this sounds, I need him to, I need him to ride. You know, there's only so much you can do in a gym. There's only so much jumping up and down on boxes you can do. And at some point, he needs to get on a bike and ride. Before Danny will finally be able to get back on his trials bike, the next step in his recovery should be far more enjoyable than a rowing machine. We're off at the Stank, your calendar in Scotland. It's kind of nice to be getting out and about on the bike after the last few months off. Yeah, getting a bit of freedom again. I mean, I'm still feeling a fair bit of pain in my back. It's been pretty tough. I've been doing a lot of sleeping on ice packs. Day by day, I can maybe feel a, a little bit of difference. And then some days, I've, you know, I have my bad days. You know, I've really been on trying to get on the sort of fast track to 100% to health. Um, fortunately, with this kind of injury, it's, there's not really a fast track, I don't think. So it's just trying to be patient and, uh, yeah, just trying to stay positive. With his recovery slowly underway, the new riding film now needs to progress. Dan is in London to look at possible locations and meet the team who will help develop the project. First meeting with in the Red Bull headquarters for a wee while. Uh, pretty exciting day. There's always been tricks that I've always wanted to learn, but you'd never find the right stuff in the street. Mm. So you've got all these, like I've got all these things in my head. I think, oh, this would be brilliant to do. This would be brilliant to do. But then you can never find the right place. So I thought if we kind of come up with an idea that's got sort of no limitations. For the new film, Danny is planning to find the perfect indoor space. For the first time, he plans to build the lines of his dreams. Finding the right location will be a challenge. Here's a space to go and do a project. Look at it. Huge. So I think it's kind of going to be funny, but sort of almost unbelievable. Pretty cool with the two levels here. You know, this, this could potentially be made into a level two. Is it okay to have a little look upstairs? Everything that we put in there, it's all going to be very, like, put there on purpose. It's a pretty cool space. So we've maybe done a really hard part, and then, like, another shot maybe picks me up. And this is the same location, but warehouse number two. It will be a lot of like solid kind of stuff that I would do in an inspired video or something yeah. kind of stuff as well. So you basically ride along uh, and you do a thing called a hippie hop where you jump off the bike. It's such an incredible thing to kind of get opportunity to do this, uh, this project. We're going to spend the next so many months here and I want it to be the right thing for the job. We'll just have to, have to see. <laughs> Uh, my tiger and my elephant and my fox. They'll be in there somewhere. What's the elephant for? Uh, just, just in case. It was a start. <laughs> <laughs> just, just in case. Yeah, bro, just, just have it kind of right in the background. <laughs> That's why when you're in these kind of places, it makes you feel pretty small. Or it makes the project seem really big. I don't know which one. So, yeah. Next time, Danny gets a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I felt like a bit of a rabbit in headlights. He begins to turn his dreams for the new film into a reality. Just imagine getting, like, say, even 40% of this into an edit. I think it's going to be pretty... Uh, it should be something quite different. Mm. And has he found the perfect filming location in an unexpected place? I think we could do something pretty amazing here. You know, what an opportunity. Yeah.